Two statewide elected officials announced Monday that they'll consider campaigning for Montana's Eastern District seat in the U.S. House, but only if Congressman Matt Rosendale doesn't run for re-election. And they're not the only ones thinking about running. On Monday morning, State Superintendent of Public Instruction Elsie Arnson released a statement saying she was launching an exploratory committee to look into running for Congress if Rosendale decides to run for Senate. Arnson is term limited and can't run again for superintendent in 2024. In a statement on social media, State Auditor Troy Downing also expressed interest, saying he's focused on his current job, but if Rosendale enters the Senate race, he'll prayerfully consider running for the Eastern District House seat. Randy Pinocci, a member of the Montana Public Service Committee, Mission from Great Falls told MTN Monday that he announced several months ago that he intends to immediately file for U.S. House if Rosendale files for Senate. And Ken Bogner, a Republican state senator from Miles City, told MTN people have encouraged him to run and he'll consider joining the race, but again, only if Rosendale doesn't seek re-election. Therefore, a lot now hinges on Rosendale's decision whether or not to enter the GOP primary to challenge Democratic Senator John Tester next year. Senator Steve Daines, leading the national Republican Senate campaign for 2024 has highlighted the candidacy of Tim Sheehy, a Gallatin County businessman. Governor Greg Gianforte and Congressman Ryan Zinke have endorsed Sheehy, but Rosendale called Sheehy a candidate of the, quote, D.C. cartel when he announced his campaign. A spokesperson for Rosendale said in a statement to MTN Monday that he has not made a decision yet, but should he decide to run for the Senate, he would have the overwhelming trust and support of Montana voters. The only Democratic candidate to announce a run for the Eastern District House seat so far is Kevin Ham, a Helena business owner and president of Montana Pride. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.